I think you're right. I think people are slow to buy into this team and really believe this year. 3.8 left and Telfair commits the foul. I think they're legit. I think provided they're healthy, they're legit, truly, because you've still got the big three. Manu Ginobili's game is taking shape. He's getting yeah. healthier. Tim is playing very consistently. And a foul to give, so Ginobili the Wild <laughs> miss at the end. He's asking for a foul. So Greg Popovich will talk to his team. Tim Duncan did great work early in this one, setting the pace, leading the way on the offensive end over Gortat. Spurs 35-13 at the end of the first. They've owned the opening quarter. I love being under house arrest. What do I get for good behavior? Now we get a whistle. Defensive three seconds, sending Ginobili to the line. You know, Tim Duncan is going in the Hall of Fame. Four championships. Mr. Fundamental, the big fundamental. Face-up jump shot, efficient use of the dribble. This just knows how to play. Spaces off of Tony Parker so well. Taking care of his body through the years. And he's talked about how important that's been increasingly as he's gotten older. Coming off a 28 point, 12 rebound yeah. uh, effort. And they, they ran four down from him. He said it's been a long, long time since they went through me that consistently. It's been an odd week for San Antonio here at home. There's Neil. It's a floater at the free throw line. 40 to 15 mm. with the Spurs came back with that win over Memphis on Thursday but that was after being beaten by the Lakers first time they faced the Lakers all year where they were out rebound 60 to 33 in the game it just felt like the, the Lakers were the more physical team I guess that would be the one thing you'd say about the Spurs moving into the playoffs teams with a lot of length just like Memphis had a year ago with Marcus All and Zach Randolph uh, and obviously the 30 rebounds by Andrew Bynum is significant. And the Lakers didn't have Kobe in that game either. The quirk of the schedule. They'll play the Lakers three times, including that one. It's been about 10 or 11 days. Check out our NBA big board. Miami, New York, Dallas, and the Lakers tomorrow. ABC. Then Sixers and Orlando without Dwight Howard. Oklahoma City and the Clippers. And Boston, New York, San Antonio, and the Lakers again on TNT Tuesday night as we wind down the season. Still a lot of important games left. Hellfair, strong to the hoop, can't finish. Well, what a second half of the season Boston's had. Yeah, extraordinary. Boy, I'll tell you what, how about all the talk and chatter about Rajon Rondo being traded? <laughs> it's probably right? a pretty good thing you don't move the guy. Garnett with the numbers he's put up. Spacing, swing it, Jackson. Ginobili keeps it alive, can't run it down. And Phoenix knows all about being written off in the first half of the season. They were 12 and 19 yeah. at one point. And a whistle and another defensive three seconds, this time at the other end. So Telfair. Or go to the line. Jackson was in there too long. And it's red. It goes to the free throw. That's what we were talking about. Best winning percentage since the All Star break. Both of these teams in the top five. Well, it's extraordinary that the only team in the league that's had two 11 game win streaks, San Antonio Spurs, and yet they continue, as you said to sort of fly under the ra radar. Morris short. Another chance. Dudley operates on Ginobili. Gets him in the air. Whistle. Can't buy the bucket. And the second 11-game winning streak was snapped in that game where the big three didn't travel. Yeah. So who knows what it might have been. 
So you can see Greg Popovich puts a ton of stock in win streaks. That's right. <laughs> really cares a lot about that. <laughs> Dudley with his best offensive season in his career. In all those categories, best numbers so far for him. I love this game. I mean, it's, I know you do. You know, I, I will cover him at Boston College. He's not a guy who your eyes are naturally going to float to in game with his athleticism. Nice little tip. But, you know, he finds a way to be effective. In fact, Alvin Gentry has talked about it. He can't create like Shannon Brown. I've got to, you know, run pin downs, let him off screens. He can be effective. He just needs some assistance being effective. Bonner spotting up halfway down and out. Telfair on the run. Trying to make something happen. Sebastian Telfair. High school all everything out of New York way back when. And a quick timeout taken by Greg Popovich. Now Sebastian Telfair has got a better understanding now of I can't always shoot it first, but when a team is struggling, it's okay. Go ahead and make it. In must win mode. The must win mode means must block out mode, which they didn't do. David West putting back his own miss. Indiana leading the Bucks now 59 48. Elsewhere, Celtics and Nets going at it fourth quarter. Celtics leading them 87 73. Kevin Garnett acting like he's 21 years old, 21 points, 12 boards. Doris, Terry. Stu, thank you. And so the standings right now in the East Chicago, Miami. Boston's in fourth because they lead their division. What do you think about that race at the top? Well, I think the most concerning thing for Chicago is can you get Derrick Rose healthy and more importantly, can you get him in rhythm? You know, talk about the wins they've had without him. It's extraordinary, but you're not winning the championship without Derrick Rose at his highest level. No. Milwaukee, by the way, trails Indiana by 11 at the half as they try to scramble and make the playoffs. Tipped out, it'll go the other way. Josh Childress, sixth year man out of Stanford, now on the floor for Phoenix. So the starters played five minutes and 54 seconds, and the only starter to return for Phoenix has been Jared Dudley. Whistle and a foul on the Spurs. Well, you would think the bench, obviously, is significant for Phoenix. It has been, but it's especially crucial tonight because you're in a back-to-back. -back. We talked about Steve Nash being consistently excellent. But frankly, at his age, and back to back, he moves a little bit slower. The pace isn't the same for Phoenix. And this guy's been pretty good for you, Sebastian Telfair. Been very good as of late. Telfair, another jumper. See the bench numbers somewhat skewed because of all the minutes for the Suns. Neal going to let it fly. Three ball, but just behind the line. Second year man out of Towson. Spent three years over in Europe playing. Bit of a zone look from the Spurs. A whistle and a foul. How about the number of guys who can consistently make shots from deep on the Spurs? Ginobili's got 45 threes. Two guys have 83s. I mean, it's just, it's just Neil has got 73. Green has got set, uh, 82. I mean, you've got a lot of options around Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and Manu Ginobili. And as a coach, don't you love players who come off the bench? You know they're going to give you one specific thing. Bonner, for example, yes. has almost 100 threes. Right. Well, I mean, I'm not sure there's a better coach than Greg Popovich at managing people, defining your roles, and holding you to a level of expectation in that role. That last graphic. If I told you at the beginning of the season, that we do a game between San Antonio and Phoenix at this point in the season. One of the teams would be one of four in the NBA averaging 100 plus points. No. He yeah. would have never said San Antonio, <laughs> right, right? Right. And Phoenix, their numbers down offensively. Duncan back in, turnaround 15 footer, and he's got 15 in the game. Been brilliant tonight. Gortat back on the floor, spins, misses. Jackson, quick outlet. Green giving it back. Left for Duncan, left hand dunk. Beautiful basketball. So we, we talked about Pop not taking those three guys to Utah, right? And managing people and setting you up. The most important things as you move toward the playoffs as well. How well are you playing and how healthy are you? And that's all that Greg Popovich has been thinking about all season. 
Morris spins and dunks along the baseline. I, I was I thought you were waiting for an answer. It was a trick question. You, you answered it. I'm glad you answered it. Well, it's just interesting to me that uh, that, that Tim Duncan can look as great as he looks yeah. right now. It's a reflective of Pop's decision making. Tell fair with the steal. Dudley running the floor. Sebastian stops, pops, buys it. Top of the key jumper, he's got eight. The most important thing he's doing to me is giving his team energy. Yes, he's scoring, but he's just picking up the pace. He's trying to get the guys around him running. If you're Alvin Gentry right now, you're thinking if, if we can just get it to maybe to 10 or even 12 yeah. by the break. I said only Oklahoma City has more double digit comebacks on the year than the Phoenix team. So they've done this. They've been in this position. They slowly started against Houston last night. And have been very good in the second game of back to backs. Jackson makes the first. You can shop NBAstore.com now for. The best selection of Suns and Spurs gear. Choose from jerseys, T-shirts, hats, and more. NBAstore.com. One store, every team. Ginobili fan, youngster. What's better than a Saturday night at the Spurs game if you're a little guy? You're right. Or us. Full house here, San Antonio. 19-point lead, especially if you're cheering for the Spurs right now. That's right. Parker back. Guarding Telfair. And Gort's hot as Blair is late to come out. Childress. And Green, a one handed rebound. Gort's hot off that big effort against Houston last night. 20 points, 15 rebounds. Now running the floor after the steal. Here's Telfair. Parker, great body control. He didn't beat one guy, he beat two. The initial defender where he's just stepped in front of the guy trailing, I mean, that's just smart basketball. That'd be two guys to make that shot. Gort's hot. Childress the follow over the back and a foul on Josh Childress. A lot of point guards who could start this, not many who finish. Well, watch Tony Parker on the initial catch. There's a Phoenix player right in his area, so he simply refuses to allow Channing Fry to have any.